Welcome to another GTFU Highlights video. This time we are in the Mini 65, the classic icon of British racing at the Broad Bean Raceway. And we go off the line now. Window Crazy in first, Cannon in second, Akbag in third, although he's got a better run off the line than Karen. He is going to get into second straight away before even the first corner. Spaniard having a look up the inside of Karen into the first corner, and he's got it. Karen goes second to fourth in before T1 that's a terrible start they're all nice and clean though um, all nice and clean through there three fighting for second place we go around for the first time window crazy looking fairly comfortable but there's a long way to go Akbag has a little bit of hip and shoulder with Kato the unknown Spaniard and he hangs it around the outside the Kato drops the inside cannons wondering where the hell he can go here he stays in the slipstream of Akbag thinking that he is going to be the faster of the two however he's wrong and they go into turn one once again. Very short lap here, only 30 seconds. Side by side, Agbag and the Spaniard. Agbag drops it back, lets him go. Not many overtaking opportunities around here. There's that one braking zone into turn one. Everything else is pretty much full throttle. Maybe a slight lift here and there. Karen still trying to make up ground after his terrible start. Climbing all over the back of Agbag. Basically up his chuff as we look further back down the field. Back to the top four. Top four breaking away now, dropping blue ukulele. Who had an amazing start, by the way. I think he started in tenth and he's up to fifth. Um, there must have been some serious problems off the line there. The unknown Frenchman in God, we're skipping all over the place. Back to the front then. Window crazy being pushed by the Spaniard who runs a little bit wide. Agbag gets alongside him as they come tearing down. Karen's in the middle. Can he get through there? He follows Agbag through and the Spaniard drops second to fourth. There are lots of good position changes happening here plenty to go at. Let's just have a listen to these minis as we look back from Agbag to Karen and the Spaniard. There we are, the wonderful sound of a British racing classic thundering around this track here in America, in America on um, a sunny afternoon and the top four all very close together. You could throw a blanket over them right now. Karen is just about looking hungriest. Windows pulled out a little bit of a gap. Akbag will be looking backward rather than forward. See what Karen's doing as they come round the corner, dancing in the disco, bumper to bumper. Look how close that is. Can Karen make a dive into the first corner once we come round this long sweeping left-hander and down to the braking zone, the only braking zone on the track of turn one. Let's see if Karen can make a lunge and indeed can uh, Akbag make a lunge up the inside of Window Crazy. Are they going three abreast? Karen chooses the middle and the Spaniard dives through from nowhere. Takes big dive, gets it into third, is pushing for second. No, Window has got second and Akbag slipped into first there. I missed that. Akbag slipped into first while I was watching the Spaniard doing his thing. So all four of them still right there together. Still undecided who is going to take this. A little bit of barging in the background there. Window picking up the Spaniard. Akbag has managed to pull out a little bit of a gap. And looking fairly comfortable. Let's have a look what's going to happen here. Again, once again into this. The only overtaking, real overtaking zone of the track. Nothing happens this time. Karen still hooked up onto the back bumper of someone. Um, only this time it's the Spaniard rather than Akbag. So they split out a little bit here. Let's see what happens as they come round. Looking to the outside, looking for the cutback. But that puts them on the outside for the final turn. And we catch our breath here as we head down to the first corner once again. Can Akbag hold on to this slipstream? A big factor in this game. Spaniard, uh, Karen's looking at the inside of the Spaniard. The Spaniard's looking at the inside of Akbag. What's going to happen? A little bit of a touch there. Throws Akbag into the wall. Akbag will not be happy. He drops first to fourth. Let's have a look at a replay. So we go into the corner. Got the inside line. Turned in, seemed to straighten up a little bit there. Maybe a little bit of understeer. Pushed Akbag into the wall. Akbag will not be happy. He's not. He is flashing. So, window goes back into first as the Spaniard loses a bit of momentum. They're three abreast nearly as they come round. The final turn onto the straight now. It's all about falling in behind someone trying to get that slipstream. Karen seems to be in the ideal place right now. He's just pushing and pushing. He looks the hungriest out of all of this pack. The two Welshmen at the front there having a good old fight. Window holding it inside. Karen, uh, sorry, Akbag going up the inside of the Spaniard. Just showing them how it's done. Let's have another look at that. 
So we're driving along, we see the Spani little gap opens up, sticks it through there, no contact. Look how close that barrier comes up on the outside. That is a pretty scary shot. So top three, I'm assuming the Spaniard, there was a lot of uh, nasty messaging between Spaniard and Agbag during this race and I'm guessing that he actually paused it to send a message and it's going to cost him a place to Happy Meal, that's going to put Happy Meal up into fourth as Agbag just tags the back of window there, no harm done as far as I can see, in fact that's just cost Agbag momentum and window got through there nicely so there'll be no problems with that one. Karen pulling out a nice little bit of a lead there. He has looked fastest throughout this race so far and he's also looked the hungriest. He's finally got what he wanted, got into first. Let's have a look further down the field. So fourth we've got Happy Meal in that um, communist inspired livery. <laughs> They're being pushed by the Spaniard as the Spaniard jumps up the inside of him, trying to get that place back after writing his nasty message to Akbag. He will be fired up, he will be angry. Will he take Happy Meal out? No, he does not. Happy Meal just gives him the cut back though. Nice and patient, that's how you do it, Sunshine. Nice and patient. Wait for your opportunity, just do the cut back. Beautifully done. Happy, such a a man with such a sunny disposition, but very serious when he's on the track sitting nicely in fourth at present. As we come round again, always a nerve-wracking going into this first corner, especially with an unknown Spaniard behind you, Mr. Cato. Looks to the inside, is Happy going to let him get up the inside, or is he just going to cut back once again? No, he's not going to cut back because there is nowhere to go for him. But can he out-drag him up? He does out-drag him up the straight. Just maybe a slightly better tune, slightly better gearing, better line through the corner. Who knows? But he manages to hold on to that fourth, and the Spaniard will be getting ever more frustrated. Blue ukulele now coming into play here. He's been uh, sitting there patiently watching the fight happen and just reeling him in like a man with a fish. As the Spaniard once again dives up the inside, third time lucky, hey, Mr. Spaniard and Blue Ukulele's there waiting to pick up any pieces, and he's causing a crash, he's actually hit the back of Happy Meal there, and Happy Meal puts up a penalty, he will not be happy about that, just outbreaks himself, amateur move, loses all his momentum, gives someone else a penalty, that is a disgrace, and he should be ashamed of himself, and that has put him under pressure from Spiky Brummy, and Spiky Brummy takes the sixth place off him, the sixth place that he held so dear and for so long. This will be the new fight then as Blue Ukulele, Spiky Brummy, two of these, these two drivers have a long, long history of some really excellent fighting together um, in the GTFU rooms. Blue ukulele diving up his inside, no contact there, that's more like it, that's how you do it, Blue, you learn from your mistakes. Uh, it doesn't get the place, but at least it didn't wipe anyone out. So we're coming round then, the final dying parts of lap 13, Blue ukulele taking a peculiar line through there, going nice and high on the kerb as he trying to dive up the inside. Trying to get the inside line for turn one, trying to get the slingshot off that banking. Excuse me. Uh, no, he's not on to lap 14. We have 8 minutes and 30 seconds into this race. A little bit of barging through there. That was a bit rude. But I think we can allow that. that, that he's known for that kind of move, to be honest. The, the mad dive. As we've got another Welsh fight for first place, again the police car of Window Crazy diving up the inside of Karen and goes across the line in first, he's got the inside line for turn one, can Karen cut back, we know that cut back is a viable option, Happy Meal demonstrated it beautifully for us earlier, he doesn't but look at that, there is not a cigarette paper between those two. As we come round looking backwards, there's someone sat on uh, Window Crazy's back seat with a camera pointing it right into Karen's eyes. And that is a glorious shot. How cool does that look? look. And he's going to go inside through here, as he no, he's not, he's running out of options. He goes into the back of the window, dives to the outside. He's going to try and hang it around the outside for turn one. How's this going to work out? Can he get a better run out? He doesn't even need a better run out, he's just hung it around the outside, fair play to son, throwing some sparks off the wall there, and Window Crazy, crazy seems to lose all his momentum, let's have another look at that one, from the roof of Window Crazy then into the first corner, and Karen just rolls it around the outside like he's not even there, sparks fly, 
and Window Crazy seemed to lose all his momentum there as Harvick comes out of the pits. He's got Spiky Brummy pushing him. Harvick has a 2.3 second penalty and Spiky Brummy just manages to clip the inside, get the apex for that fast right-hander and it looks like job done. Job done, let's follow these two for a lap then see what happens here. As we come on to lap 16. Less than five minutes to go now of this race. Lap 16, Harvig's having a little dive up the inside. Nope, nothing doing there. Locks up the wheels. Spiky throws up some sparks, but all good, all clean. A little bit of a gap on that one. Maybe sort it out. Let's see if uh, we'll keep an eye on that one. See if Harvig can have another dive at him. And the Spaniard is in first, although looking at his fuel, he is definitely due a stop and it will have to be this lap otherwise he's just going to run out that's the only reason he's in first i think he's the last one to stop so fair play has been fuel saving as well as everything else into the pits he comes i think that will drop him off around window crazy uh, so he will come out of the pits in fourth maybe fifth maybe happy will get a little sniff of chorizo as well on the way out of there So the Spaniard's still in the pits, still having his fuel chucked in there. Probably a bit of damage repaired from uh, from his incident earlier with Agbag. Let's see, is he going to drop out of the pits in front of window or behind? Keep an eye on the bottom of the screen there, see if you can see. Oh, I saw something there. Was that him? Has he come out in front of window? He has come out in front of window, but window has got the momentum, got the outside line, drives it round, got the inside line for the next turn, and Bosch... Adios. Back to Karen then. We have to watch Karen for a little bit because he would be very upset at leading this race for so long and not hardly getting any commentary at all from it. So we'll have a little look at him. Akbag in second, a fairly distant second now. It looks like uh, positions one and two may be sorted out here. Let's have a little bit further look further back, see what Bunny's up to with John. John, now that gap's still looking the same, but I think John is in the slipstream there. He might be able to have a might be able to have a little sniff into turn one if he's sensible here. Nearly got rid of his penalty. No, he's still got what's he got? He's down to point four of a penalty there, so not too bad. He will be rid of that by the end of this race. Um, and he may even get a sniff of seventh if he can hang on to Spikey while he's doing it. Penalty is going down fairly easy on this uh, on this track here. I think. I mean, I, I actually never got a penalty, so I wouldn't know. But um, looking at Harvig, I think he's got rid of five seconds in a few laps there. He's down to point three. He will soon, very soon, be able to just fight this and not worry about the penalty at all. So can he get in the slipstream? Can he get anything done here? No, he's too far back to do anything. That would be silly. Oh, and he's run it wide. He's hit the wall. He's hit the wall and he's back up to five seconds. Oh, oh dear, he is not the uh, luckiest driver in the world, although that one was all of his own making. No one else to blame for that one, John. So, Window Crazy third, fourth is the Spaniard, fifth is Happy Meal, sixth we have Mr. Blue Ukulele sitting pretty in sixth, Spiky Brummy is in seventh. Uh, Harvick is in 8th, having a terrible time there. An unknown Frenchman, Priton, in 9th, uh, 1.2 second. And Afro Man bringing up the rear. Afro Man, of course, a regular GTF viewer. And Agbag picks up a 5 second penalty. I didn't see what happened there, but that's definitely going to affect him. He may lose a place. As we look at the clock, there is the 10 seconds of this race left. So this will be the last lap. Window crazy in 3rd. No one troubling him. Let's look at Karen as he's coming across for the final time. A triumphant in that retro Welsh decked out livery. Round the final corner to the line. Is he going to give us a flash of the lights? Is he going to give us a handbrake? That was a very, very well executed race from this young Welshman who just seems to be getting better. And he goes backwards across the line. Just an extra touch of style. Agbag doesn't get rid of his penalty. Doesn't wear his penalty down. And that swaps him back to third. He finished in second, but... With the penalty, it becomes third. Window gets second. The Spaniard gets fifth. And Happy Meal gets fourth. Obviously, the Spaniard also having some penalty left there. Thank you very much for listening. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out Karen's channel. And I'll catch you.